He said something horrible happened to me at camp. I got stung by a yellow jacket on my finger, and it hurt. I'll explain what yellow jackets are in a minute. But first, I want you to subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers I have, the more I know you want more videos. Look for the red subscribe button and click it. Tap that one right next to it so you know when we post a video. Now back to my stink. There are two categories, bees and wasps. Honeybees and bumblebees are the most common bees that can sting you. Females have the stingers, but males do not. Honeybees die after stinging people because their stinger gets stuck in their skin. One or more aggressive than Bees are horned up yellow jackets and paper wasps. The females have the stingers, but the males do not. Horned up yellow jackets and paper wasps can sting you multiple times. That means more than one. Honeybees and yellow jackets look a lot of life. Most people will say yellow jacket stings for bee stings, but they're two different things. Here's the difference. Honeybees sting once and then they die. Yellow jackets can sting you more than once and do not die after. Honeybees won't chase after you. Yellow jackets will chase after you. Honeybees are yellow and fuzzy. Yellow jackets are bright yellow and not fuzzy. Honeybees are chubby. Yellow jackets are not chubby and have a small waist. Honeybees sting when they feel threatened. Yellow jackets sting when they feel threatened, angry, or getting food. Honeybees like pollen and nectar. Yellow jackets like sugar, meat, and fruit. Honeybees most of the time are harmless. Yellow jackets have become easily aggressive. Those bees you thought you were sitting at picnics were most likely yellow jackets, and they're not nice. Here's what to do to protect yourself from getting stuck. Stay away from hives and nests. That's their territory, and they will protect it. Don't swat them away, as this can be seen as you trying to harm them. Scaring bees or wasps can lead to them stinging you. If one is flying near you, slowly walk away and get indoors. Don't wear sweet smelling perfume, sunscreen, or lotion when going outside. You might be mistaken for food. Now that you know the difference between bees and wasps and what to do, you are better prepared for the next time you see one of them. Have you ever been stung? Comment below and tell me what you think of them. While you're there, smash that like button and subscribe too. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. Bye bye. Blue bird. Honeybee. Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it?